today to remember the people that have given it all, the ones that have increased the ability of us to have freedom. And we're here to show and to be with the people that have lost people that have fought that fight. Because we know God sent his son Jesus to die for our salvation but he sent the American soldier to increase our freedom, to have our rights. And we are so thankful for that. In Jesus' name that I pray, amen. amen. Great cover, on again. Post the colors, please.
Inhale. Right shoulder out. About face. Forward back. Seated. And this is for especially the young kids and young. Throughout our nation's history, many times the nation has put out the call to arms and brought them to battle. And Berwick always answered the call. I will now read the names of those soldiers from the little hamlet of Brewer that answered that call and paid the supreme sacrifice and never returned. Revolutionary War. James Abbott, Jr. James Butler, Absolutely. William Davis, Absolutely. James Earl, Absolutely. Abel Getcher, Absolutely. Henry Hansen, Absolutely. James Knox. Simeon Lord Jr. Moses Spencer. Civil War. Elbridge Colomine. George C. Frost. George W. B. Goldwell. Ivory Gupta. Francis E. Hurd. Samuel B. Knox. William H. Knox. William Lloyd. Hiram Merrill. Festus C. Porter. Joseph H. Roberts. Sylvester Roberts. Ivory R. Stillings. James Thompson. Isaac Tibbetts. Albert R. Walker. Absent. World War I. Charles S. Hatch. Absent. Ernest Horn. Paul Hussey. Absent. Roland Pratt. Absent. Two, Forrest E. Bassett, Absent. Robert V. Burgess, Absent. Ralph E. Kwan, Richard E. Day, Absent. Robert Goodwin, Absent. Leon W. Hoxford, Marcel LaJoy, Robert E. Matthews, George W. Ricker, Louis David Sanderson, Francis Staples, Robert S. T. 
Triggers. Career. James D. Malloy. Vietnam. James. James R. Dufo. Gentlemen, W. Knight. Fire party. Salute the dead. Ray, a tit, but at the first note. Tragedy striking on an otherwise quiet day 
in a quiet set. Primaney lost in Vietnam, it was not the great battles of Tet or the Andrean Valley, but a mine or a trap on an otherwise typical day in that tragic war. My point is not to lessen the impact of great battles, but to show the often forgotten fact that all wars at all times are tragic by their very nature. The brave men and women who gave their lives for our country willingly put themselves in harm's way to preserve our freedom and way of life and are deserving of honor. Memorial Day should not be about barbecues and car races, but a time to remember those who place their lives on the altar of freedom. It is they we honor today, a grateful nation giving respect to those who gave their all. Thank you.
bitch. <laughs> Very jumbled man. A big man of English has some presentations that he'd like to do before we can move. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. Uh, appreciate everyone's uh, participation. And for the, some of the folks who come down today. Yeah, please be seated. Uh, uh, Nicholas, you're all. Come on up.
side, you had to compress it and you had to do a lot of things. And I think everybody did a wonderful job. We rehearsed outside. Uh, I've been doing this for 47 years. This is the only third time we had to come inside in 47 years. I don't know what happened when I was out of town with Uncle Sam, but uh, I think it was good. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 